Fresh buko juice Power Stay cheap or love stay cheap.
Okay, so good morning everyone. My name is Arnel Madraso. I'm the teacher blogger. So this one is book review. Um, if, we'll, if we'll be comparing this with my previous novel, so I, my uh, recent novel that I reviewed is kind of uh, following the, the footsteps or the, the practice of Fifty Shades of Grey. So it's expected that well, at first, I wasn't really, I don't really have an idea because I was choosing it on the basis of, uh, well, it was cheaper, the, the novel is cheaper and sometimes, you know, I go by the title. So the title of the novel last time was really not connecting with the storyline. So I wasn't expecting that it was really, uh, really for adult, no? Well, I'm an adult, so we are able to, we can, we can read such a material. But uh, page by page, if you read that novel, my previous novel was, it was really very explicit, very descriptive in its uh, sexual intimacy. No? And so I move on to the next novel. So I was hoping that this is kind of a uh, dramatic, uh, but maybe veering away uh, veering away from the sexual stuff and so i thought of you know, maybe reading pains of passage uh comparing this you know based on the title i was comparing this with my previous classical novels that i was reading less the descriptive sexual stuff so while i was reading this novel well first of all there is an effect when you're reading this novel it's like you are watching National Geographic Channel or listening to, listening or viewing uh, Kuya Kim's uh, travels, adventures to forests, to jungles. No? So this one is just the same. So whenever you read, you know, the pages, the description of the, the setting, the atmosphere is really giving you the feeling of you're in a jungle. You no, know, you're in a forest. Uh, where the climate is uh, with mixed rainfall and summer, no? summer and uh, tropical uh, climate. No? So when you read this, really the, the flora and fauna are explicitly described. But in my reading of initial pages no, of this novel, I already sensed that feeling of you're really when whenever you read this line by line you can see picture out the images of uh, of where the characters are no? so so basically it's as well the initial pages would give us um, the feeling of uh, also being in love no? uh, there there are two uh, male, male and female characters here were acting like lovers. No? I'm not just sure whether they're married, but they are into sexual intimacy. At the initial chapters, no? there is sexual uh, sexual intimacy going on. So as I said, in my previous novel, I was already hoping that I won't be reading uh, such a descriptive uh, sexual intimacy. But then again, without really uh, without really having an idea of what really the pages would bring me. Again, there are sexual stuff here. So, The Plains of Passage, I don't know if I can recommend this to my students. No? Maybe college students, but not but not uh, high school students. So, there are sexual intimacy going on that are very explicit, that are quite not good for our students to explore. But on my part, if you'd ask me what's the initial feeling, uh, I would say that the description of the flora and fauna would give us the, the sense of uh, communing with nature. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, minus or not only the love uh, angle that we are uh, introduced in this novel, I think more than that is the flora and fauna. It's like the communion of humans to nature. In fact, there is uh, a character here other than the, the, uh, the, the lovers. 
I will still have to figure out whether they are married or not because I think there, the conflict here would would be that the woman is not able to give uh, birth to a child so I think there is there is an angle to that no? so Ayla who is the the main character the woman the protagonist uh, let me read to you page 134 that would somehow give us an idea that there's a conflict Ayla was quiet for a while, thinking then, said, I wonder if that's what happens when you love someone and that person loves you back. I wonder if you exchange pieces of each other's spirit. So maybe that's why it hurts so much to lose someone uh, you love. So these are certain, you know, lines that would give us an idea, given that the previous pages, their conversation was, was about, you know, I think there's some sort of a flashback technique thinking that she's not able to bear a child so that's only an hypothesis i'm still not sure whether the conflict really is uh, embedded in the in the point that she's not able to give birth to a child okay so 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 far i'm reading i'm into this but again uh, as a as a reader of course i'm a married man but when prompted with <laughs> lines like you know sexual intimacy still there's a there's an effect on me no uh, but uh, since i'm married maybe less on of effect but for those of you who are into the experimental stage of sexual intimacy this might really have a, an effect on you so normally it's just like watching films eh? whenever there's sexual intimacy going on bed scene or sex sexy scene sometimes there's an effect on us but the more we read about sexual intimacy like this one for this month there's i read two novels straight with sexual intimacy sexual thing going on no in bed other places and all experimental exploring their sexualities so given that i am exposed to this it's just like it's normal it's a normal uh normal process for me to to be in uh reading experiencing what they are experiencing what the author is actually trying to to present us of course there's a there's an effect on me of course i'm a human being but uh given my maturity level after i read it's kind of just van vanishes no? it does not really enter into my into my well at first it enters into your senses but it does not really stay there so there has to be, after reading sexual stuff, I think it's important that we need to go back to the what is supposed to be moral and what is supposed to be clean, pure. And of course, that is prayer. So we need to pray and cleanse us from whatever sexual thing that really had an effect on our senses, right? So basically, that's it. So thank you for tuning into my blog. I'd like to thank my Far Eastern University students who are still supporting me. Of course, you Far Eastern University students know that without you, this blog, as a teacher blogger, I wouldn't be able to really uh, be a blogger without you helping me. You know, last summer uh, of 2017, I, I started blogging, right? So that was last year. So. Uh, thank you also to my Western Mindanao State University students who are just, you know, visiting my blog and learning with me. Actually, this is a learning process until now. So I'm still figure th figuring things out what, you know, what would work and what would not work. So hopefully I'll be, blog I'll be able to blog this, you know, in That's the...